Welcome to all of you. Um, we're approaching the solar eclipse in Cancer, where we are going to witness somewhere in Nepal and in India and in China the solar eclipse, which the moon will move in front of the sun and create a ring of fire. This ring of fire is happening also on an equinox, which means we have equal day and equal night on the 21st of June, which brings me perfectly to the chariot, which is the Cancer card, the major arcana Cancer card. Right? When we look into this card, this uh, major arcana, major arcana meaning a, a big message, or a higher self message. And we can see that this is uh, a celestial moment in time and space, perfectly for the mission that we are now entering. Now, as you can see, uh, there is a portal, a celestial portal opening and the curtain behind there with all the stars and him wearing the crown where the seventh chakra is shining very focused right now this man or this warrior is very focused because he has to manage with his mind the black and the white the yin and the yang the inhale and the exhale he has to be very focused very centered and in some other uh, des desks uh, decks we have horses now showing the chariot pose and also here no reins no connection from the chariot to the horses or to the sphinx just the mind just the focus of your higher self guiding you celestially guiding you stepping away from the hustle and bustle of the city of too many people around you getting out in nature being connected to a higher purpose which is shown here as the center of the sun with the wings right having a vision or a mission greater than yourself to focus on and then here the red symbol which is lingam and yoni for those who don't know what a lingam is it's your penis and the yoni is your vagina it's the sanskrit word right that we use in tantra this union that we're building to create the center to create the higher consciousness that is now coming towards us right then here the belt across his waist showing all the symbols of all the zodiac signs right and this is what's happening also one last these two half moons on his shoulders waning and waxing moon right uh, the square in the center of his chest here he has power over the four elements and then space behind him the fifth element the higher consciousness right this is what here is coming towards us next Sunday and I'd like to show this card because it really brings us right the number seven to the crown chakra brings us to this higher consciousness now as you saw we have horses here in this deck right of um, the um, light seer tarot deck that i'm using because it's a little bit more modern right some people don't know what to do with this it's kind of like mm, all right here they they kind of feel more familiar with it right but i want to you to see both now what's really interesting is that um from the atlantean cards we got technology picked for this week uh, for this uh, celestial uh, uh, moment in time right and it shows that we master through technology through the crystals we master the communication we master the connection to um 
communicate, to interact, right? The age of Aquarius is coming now and replacing the age of Pisces. And the age of Pisces was more of a raw uh, masculine energy and the, the age of uh, Aquarius will bring a divine masculine energy and we all have to help the masculine energy, right? We women particularly, we have to help these men to shift into this new awareness. It's not going to be easy for them because they're not as in tune with their intuition, right? They're acting more out of an instinct and they're learning now to listen to a higher uh, purpose, a higher message, which we can see when we look at Nelson Mandela and Gandhi, which was in the video of where I show the Ashvasanchalan Asana, the uh, pose of um, the high lounge, right? Which we use sometimes in uh, yoga as a transition pose, right? From here, I can step forward. I have to put the technology behind because it's a little windy today and I don't want the car to flip, right? So here again, I painted basically the two waning and waxing moon and here the stars, the constellation of a Cancer. And then here the wings, where we're standing on. When we do this um, position, finding a higher cause to step into this awareness, finding a mission, a vision that's greater than ourselves will give us the wings with the sun as the center. And again, the lingam and the yoni as that union and behind here I have Manhattan because I lived 17 years in Manhattan and 17 years is a long time that's where I started to uh, get into yoga and the mysticism and really learned a lot about the spiritual path the individual spiritual path that we can take right so this is the pose Asva, Ashva Sanchalan Asana right so Ashva is a horse in Sanskrit and we also when we step into this position watch my other video where I explain um, the pose a little more clear in my yoga studio right in my yoga room where when we step into it it's like a step forward but we need to focus clearly with our third eye into this new awareness and then sometimes we step back, right? We have to take a step back to see more clearly where do I want to go, right? When I step only forward, it's like it's constantly in my face. It's the future, future. But sometimes I also need to step back because there is this raw masculine energy that might actually go a little too far in his energy so he needs to step back and see wow i actually went a little too far i maybe have to apologize right and this is what's up coming upon us the awareness to realize when we have not connected to our higher self when we come from the ego consciousness when we come from the eye that wants to be right that wants to be the warrior that just fights for the sake of fighting. And we know the samurais, right? They are very powerful um, individuals, but they only fight when there is a necessary stepping in to defend the defendless, right? Defend, defend the people that are helpless, that need help. And this is what the Black Lives Matter movement is all about, right? Where we stepping in to give um, power to the voice of those who have been suppressed, as Nelson Mandela did to fight the apartheid, right? He was 27 years in prison. 27 years. He was fighting and then became president of um, 
Africa, South Africa or South Africa, right? He became the president in the end after 27 years, the nine, number nine completion. He did three times the number nine into the power chakra, into the solar plexus. And the solar plexus, the soul, the sun is the center of our galaxy. And the center of our galaxy is shooting 70,000 miles an hour through the universe where all the planets are spiraling around and we're shooting like we don't even feel it. It's so fast. It's like, it's, it's, it's unimaginable how fast it is, right? Just sit in an airplane, look down and see how fast it goes. Then you look down on the floor, but when you look out, it's like it's, you don't even move. So this solar energy, right, this focus on the center, on this inner third eye consciousness, right, the sun, gives us the power to be um, this warrior, the warrior that steps in to not only fight for the black lives or the white lives, but to bring them together into union because we all come from one ancestor. Only the skin has adapted, right? The melatonin has made that we get brown. Our skin protects itself from the sun. So this next Sunday, the 21st of June, we have this tremendous portal, this ring of fire where the moon moves. And I think it only moon can move in front of the sun and cover the sun. There's no other planet who can do that. And literally take the light away for a few minutes and make this a clear moment of here we are as one, all for one and one for all. This is the message for the 21st of June, right? Now, we are going a little bit through a stressful time and to help you with this, there is um, an herb, the uh, Indian ginseng, which is called ashwagandha. And ashwagandha, ashwa again, the scent of the horse, if you take 500 milligram a day, right, is enough to help you to adapt to stress, right? Stress, debt or anxiety or even depression, right? This is all symptoms that we're going through right now in this time of great global shift, of great global constrictions right through this virus also that we are facing so if you can right order ashwas, uh, ashwagandha take 500 milligram per day and you will within a week two weeks you will already f find the change within your awareness right helping you to cope with this new energy that wants to come in with this new message with this new awareness right with becoming the the mission becoming the messenger becoming the messiah becoming the one that steps in and is not afraid of anything like the warrior right this is a warrior uh, simply warrior one and warrior two warrior three four and five I will do a, a, a video where I show all the warriors through the um, Ashwa Sanchal and Asana, the high lounge, from the high lounge, either stepping back or stepping forward into these positions, right? So you can understand that there's a peaceful warrior, right? There's a humble warrior, there's a flying warrior. Good. So I starting the readings now so this is the message for all of you and after that your individual um, uh, reading will come to help you to see what it is that you need to bring into this world right what is your message what is your part what is your vision and live it right become like 
um, a messenger, become an inspiration to the people around you, to the community that you are part of, right? And that's really what we are looking forward to now for this coming Sunday on the 21st of June. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste. Welcome Aquarius, this is your reading for the 21st of June where we have a new moon and a solar eclipse on an equinox day in Cancer, right? I'm using actually uh, this time um, the good tarot and the mystical shaman oracle together combined to get uh, nine cards out and the tenth card will be the overall um, energy. Right. And um, just so you know that this solar eclipse is going to be very strong, very powerful. And let's see what the message is for you or what are the images for you for your meditation. All right, so these are just images that are helping you to do your meditation. Remember, it's just an invitation to have a look at it. And uh, only what feels right to you, right? What intuitively feels like, yes, wow, yes, this feels right, you take. So I'm not reading out of the Mystical Shaman book because I just want to get the feeling of the cards, right? The visuals, I didn't want to be um talking about okay so three jumped out so you get an extra card which is 11 and i'm gonna keep that All right okay so we starting with the owl this is a night bird and it's the number 12, which is the number three. I feel that this card is inviting you to know your power, right? Because the owl is a very elegant animal right it's like the way it flies i saw this documentary they barely move the wings that's why they can literally glide so i think this overall message for you is to start gliding up up in the higher perspectives in the higher realms and after the owl, you have the king of earth. And the king of earth is Taurus energy. And as you can see, he's very... <laughs> I don't have to say... It is something I feel like these visuals, right? That's why like I don't want just my hands showing you the or the picture, right? I want you to see me because I have sometimes these ways of showing what I really feel, right? But this is a very grounded energy, right? Very established. And of course all the earth signs are connected with it, but mainly it's Taurus and so you gliding up there because what comes right after is 
the eagle and it's the number seven connecting with this seven so this portal is going to be very very strong for you because the eagle is creator is higher consciousness is like almost a witness is that amazing powerful energy and then you have the messenger of earth which is the knight of earth or the knight of pentacles right he who harvests it's virgo he who harvests um the fruits in in fall so the first row is like right leading from the owl to these three wow right so you starting really right away you starting like clear because then comes the seer the number nine 45 you will see everything from a higher perspective and that's your journey because it's the middle card this is your journey your journey is to spread your wings and bring the age of aquarius out to the world because you are aquarius it's your time this is gonna be 2500 years for you just for you that's why you get the owl and the eagle and the seer and then you get the ten of earth which is I mean, this is extreme wealth. And when you have extreme wealth, you must use it for a higher purpose, for a higher vision, something greater than yourself. Otherwise, it will vanish. Because you have to understand that this money that you made, you made on the backs of millions and millions of people. The more money you make, millions, billions, trillions, you made it because there are all these people who have contributed to the wealth. Wealth is only, wealth can only be seen in perspective to where it comes from or what I can then buy from it, right? But why is there even wealth if there's like just 10 people in this world? then whatever money there is right so this is the it's, 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 it's spreading the money in a way that it actually makes sense so from there the last row you have many paths and i love it because these arms reach all towards this portal right many paths now possible because of the age of aquarius it's not anymore the age of pisces right the the raw masculine energy now we're moving into the divine masculine energy and there are many paths to go and fulfill this dream and it's happening because we have the technology we have now the age of aquarius that many people can become influential as we can see now on youtube right and each path as we can see with these two powerful men right each path has this recognition in itself of like i bring something to the greater good right an ocean is made of drops and you know many drops make an ocean then comes the smoky mirror and the smoky mirror for me is like you transcend through the fog through to this enlightenment right and there is this fire ring of fire around your head which is gonna be happening on this solar eclipse a full 
solar eclipse, right? Or they say 99%, but I find 99% pretty full. And then, interesting enough, right? You have also nine of Earth. I mean, you have like, out of a big deck, quite very, very powerful cards, right? And I, I see more like you as an individual. I don't see really this like a love reading. And then after the 11th card is again a number nine, the hunter, right? So as this individual, here you are in a family setting, right? The 10 of wands is the tree of life, is the Kabbalah. And so you are actually bringing here now also individually an awareness to the people, to the cause, to this mission that is starting this wave, this portal that is opening and helping all of us to transcend now things that have been for way too long happening. And look at her. She's holding in her hands this beautiful little flower. Right? She is the keeper of the garden. Individual. And you are Aquarius. You're very individual. You don't really need a relationship. But of course, a relationship is beautiful to have. But also know that being with yourself, that's the greatest relationship you can have. Wow, I mean, this is going to be quite a powerful moment for you, right? Where you are going to realize, you are going to realize your true mission because this is eagle in this deck of the mystical shaman by Alberto Villoldo is the 99% spirit, 1% matter. And you have like this incredible wealth. And when you have this kind of wealth, you must use it for the greater good. Because like I said, right, the money that you made, even though you worked hard for it, it was also made by all the people around you. You were able to make that money because there are all these people that buy from you or that actually, right, bring the many drops to the ocean. Powerful, powerful. Now the journey and the hunter, right? So here are these two cards, I feel like when you go on this journey uh, from this portal on, right, this message that comes to you, you will see that you are self-sufficient. For me, the hunter is self-sufficient. He goes out and he knows exactly what he can do. And on a journey, we have to be self-sufficient, right? We have to know all the time um, uh, where we get the food from. And one last one, right? I like to put these together. So this, these three, right? For me are, you have the bird's eye view to look down, you will see so much happening. You will see the solution. You will not actually go into the blaming uh, part. You are part of the solution. You will see that which already is the future, that which already is these 
age of Aquarius that's coming in, right? And I always tell people, right? People hope that, think that at the age of Aquarius, everything is going to be perfect. No, it's not, right? We are humans and we're a mess. And we need to like grow, we need to learn and we will make mistakes there as well, right? Social distancing, like, like you know, the human interaction, all of that stuff is going to be important in the age of Aquarius, right? Because technology, we cannot take technology over, right? Let, let it take over. So you will see through the owl and through the eagle, right? You will have that bird eye view down and come from the solution already. Amazing. I mean, really, really amazing. All right, my beautiful Aquarius. Remember, practice, high lounge, right? Stay focused. Well, you're focused already. You know, you know, you just chill or just lie back and don't do nothing. Just be yourself, right? Because it's your time to come. This is your portal. I feel like this is gonna be like a powerful portal now. Finally, you're gonna realize, wow, the age of Aquarius is really here. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Namaste.